The city of San Carlos is once again bustling with life. Trade and tourism are booming, with local farmers enjoying the longest period of calm they can remember. People are doing well. We're all very much at peace because no one is scared. There's no more fear. The people are much more at ease. Blanca and her family returned to their home here one year ago. But although the threat of violence has receded, landmines are still a constant danger here. Locals have all had to learn how to avoid them. They told us that we shouldn't stray from the path, that we shouldn't touch them, or anything that appears suspicious. Only a few kilometers away, Bernardo remembers when the people fled the city. Only two or three families stayed in this community. Now there are at least 30. People feel safe enough to return to their farmhouses. Slowly but surely they are coming back, but there are still many yet to return. Bernardo is now helping the demining teams clear the fields. But first, he had to fix his own farmhouse, abandoned for more than five years. In 2006, I came back to check on the condition of my home. After a month, I came back permanently. It's been here 10 years now. The Colombian army is now working with several NGOs to clear mines in the region. It's a key part of the peace process. This is a humanitarian operation. We need to consolidate local law and order to make this area safe. It's very important for the future, so we can make other areas safe. So we can move freely and also support other people and communities. Soldiers are now a common sight in the towns and villages. Demining teams work closely with local farmers. They are our principal source of information. Without them, we wouldn't have a reason to be here. We don't have the necessary equipment to tell us where the landmines are. We strongly rely on the information supplied by the locals. But even cleared areas are not 100% safe. New landmines are always being discovered, but local farmers refuse to be discouraged. Even when they say there are no more landmines, sometimes there are one or two hidden somewhere. But in San Carlos, the area is around 90% cleared. Here in San Carlos, a memorial to the victims of decades of conflict, a reminder of the horrors of the past and the fragility of a future peace.